This is your election headquarters and we start on the campaign trail. There's a fight on push for many of these presidential candidates. So, well, on Wednesday, President Mahama was in the Eastern region. We are told that he's quickly dashing to the Volta region in an attempt to woo uh, voters there. And uh, my colleague, Max Olagwagwa, is currently traveling with him and we'll get more updates on what exactly uh, he's, he's heading to the Volta region to do. But prior to uh, going to the Eastern region on Wednesday, uh, President, former President Mahama spoke to Joy News about allegations of vote buying uh, against government. And he insists that the Inspector General of Police is being economic with the truth in his response to that particular allegation. He also alleged that some monies have been paid to the police ahead of Tuesday's special voting uh, to influence them uh, to vote in the favor of government. What we have is that it went well. Mm -hmm. It was generally calm and um, as many people as possible voted. There were a few complaints of some people who couldn't, whose names were not on the list, even though they had registered. Mm. Um, I don't think it's f shaking because I haven't heard it generally. There are a few of those complaints. But aside from that, um, special voting is something we've done over the years. Yeah. When it's finished, the ballot boxes are sealed and kept until 7th, and then they are added to the general. Uh, vote counts, so mm -hmm. it's it's nothing special. People well, will speculate that somebody won and somebody won. The only thing I'm told was people were taking pictures of their paper. The mm -hmm. vote is supposed to be secret, and so it means that the EC must look at that and do something about it. It's not true. Okay. I was not talking of the 600. Mm -hmm. The 600 is their duty allowance. I know that, mm -hmm. but monies were paid into their accounts. Investigate yourself. Okay. Aside from what the IGP talked about mm -hmm. as their duty allowance monies were paid into people's accounts. I don't say it's a bad thing, but I'm saying that if the purpose is to influence them, you know, then it's in, in, inappropriate and um, I don't think it will bite their consciences. You see, the thing about the security services is, it's not before an election you give them 1,000 Ghana cities or 2,000 Ghana cities, mm -hmm. you know, but it is the morale of the service, the confidence they have, how you treat them and all that kind of thing, you know, and we, go more for raising their confidence, raising their respect in the eyes of the public, you know, making them feel confident to do their work, giving them the logistics to be able to do their work. But when you have a government that infiltrates the service with thugs and vigilantes and all that, send them for four weeks training, when they should be trained for six months to be proper police officers and just put them into the service, you realize that the level of indiscipline and all that kind of thing begins to uh, take place. Do you remember the incident of a driver with party people in a police vehicle? How, how can that happen under any normal administration? You know, so aside from the 600 allowance they, they've mm -hmm. been giving, monies were paid into our, their accounts. I can say that on authority. I work with police officers, I have relatives in the police service. Mm -hmm. And so the IGP was being economical with the truth. Oh, the scholarship secretary mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. They did. Yesterday they announced that they are giving a scholarship, scholarship to, to first, the first year. Yeah, first year students. Okay, well. That's after you announced the funding. You know. Well, we didn't know that. What happens is um, our education committee, you know, came up with a recommendation and said that the fees that the first years have to pay are, much, are, are quite bigger mm -hmm. than what the continuing students pay. And so if you do the CHIMPE policy, mm -hmm. they are not likely to benefit as much as the continuing students. And so we should do something more you know, uh, um, uh, significant for them. And um, they did the costing and they brought it. The party looked at it. Okay. Yeah. And um, the chairman called me and said, based on the recommendation of the education committee, um, they decided that for first years they would cover the full fees so that they can cushion them for the first year. They have a crooked election, <laughs> you understand? We have more to complain about a flawed election than, I mean, government. The government party say won't accept the results of a crooked election. You control the security, you virtually control the EC, you understand? You changed all the EC commissioners, brought your own uh, commissioners. Every step that they have taken shows, you know, a certain partisan inclination towards uh, you. An EC commissioner says that NDC is the greatest threat to democracy in Ghana, and he still has his job, you know. I mean, you do things that when we raise issues where you just poo-poo us, you know, and 
I mean, look at when they were talking with the loudspeakers on without knowing that they were being heard. I mean, just listen to the comments the EC commissioners were making. Does it, that you need any more convincing, you know, that they are not as partial as they should be? You know, and the thing is, we've run elections over the years. Uh, we're a political party since 92. And so we've seen different commissions. We've seen the evolution of our electoral system. And so we know what is right. Ghana's electoral system is held as one of the best. You know, and so when you have a new commission come and they are not even able to follow their own law, you understand? Why should we go to court after you've eliminated 30,000 names from the register? It should be you giving the names out and saying, look, your names have been taken off for this and this and that reason. But a, 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 a CSO has to go to court to try to compel you to publish the names so that on the day 30,000 people don't go and their names are not on the register. I mean, is that rocket science? Is that something that NDC and the EC should even quarrel about? Mm. You know, you have confidence in the Jimen Solet EC. They'll have to win my confidence. Um, so far, in the process leading up to the election, um, I will I will mark them as below average.